Good morning. Welcome to Good Dog Grooming. I literally woke up this morning with this inspiration. I want to talk to you guys about lies that doodle owners are commonly told. So I literally got out of bed, came here to start recording. That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to go over three very common, very specific lies that many, not all, but many doodle owners are told these lies. And I'm going to give you my two cents as a groomer as to kind of what what's truth and what's a lie. So my name's Colleen and this is Good Dog Grooming. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, so the first lie out of the three that I want to talk about in this video that doodle owners are very, very commonly told is that they are low maintenance dogs. They are not low maintenance dogs. <laughs> they are particularly high maintenance. You might consider maintenance in two different categories, one being grooming and the other being behaviorally. And if you have a behaviorally high energy dog, that's also high maintenance in a way because you have to provide a lot of stimulation for that dog to be happy. And many, many doodles end up being high energy. They're high intelligent and high energy and that's going to come from the poodle because doodles generally are, as a broad definition, any other dog mixed with a poodle. Poodles tend to be particularly intelligent and pretty high energy. And whatever other dog, like let's say you're mixing that poodle with a border collie, now you've got another high energy, particularly intelligent dog. You're just, you need to provide a lot of stimulation. Grooming wise, honestly, it varies really from about medium maintenance to high maintenance. <laughs> there, I, I, don't, I don't think there's any low maintenance doodles. The maintenance tends to be you need to brush the dog at home fairly frequently depending on how prone it is to matting and have it groomed get its fur trimmed or cut or shaved or whatever length you prefer on a normal schedule and so the grooming that's the high maintenance aspect of it for the most part in terms of grooming guys I want to talk about lie number two they don't shed Here's the deal. Most doodles shed. And I see a lot of comments on doodle owner forums and things like that saying like, guys, I was told, I spent thousands of dollars on this dog and I was told it wouldn't shed. And look at this brush and look at my house and I'm vacuuming daily. And it's because there is a spectrum of doodle fur types. There are doodles with a more kind of wiry, not as curly, like a maybe wavy, almost straight hair. And then there are doodles with very, very poodle-like fur. So we'll just, might as well put a poodle on that end of the spectrum. Tight curls, fairly low shedding, and the tighter curls tend to, even the hairs that do fall out, tend to sort of stay stuck until you brush them out. So, and then there's everything in between, and they have, the poodles have more of a, well, like a purebred poodle, have more of a, a single coat, and there are lots of doodles in the middle here, right? Because you're breeding, you don't know what you're gonna get when you breed two different animals, two different dogs. In the middle here, you've got some that are kind of double-coated. They're gonna shed more. They're gonna be, they're gonna mat more easily. You've got, uh, some call it kind of a fleecy coat, uh, but it can be pretty curly, it can be a little more wavy, and it ten and it can it can be kind of it can grow indefinitely. Some of some of these dogs on the spectrum with the very, very kind of straight, more wiry fur can have almost like a finite length of fur, which helps make them lower maintenance and they are a little bit easier to brush. But the point is, is the majority of the dogs on this spectrum are high maintenance, or at least medium to high, I would say on the lower end of the spectrum is medium maintenance, and they almost all shed. Even the poodle, which is considered hypoallergenic, 
the least shedding still sheds technically. So you never know what you're gonna get with a mixed breed and all doodles are mixed breeds. More poodle-like fur will probably shed less, but if, you're, if it's really, really, really important to you that a, your dog does not shed or is the, mo you know, the least shedding possible, I'm gonna recommend you just search for a purebred poodle. But the point is, is it's a lie. Doodles tend to shed. This third lie on my list of three lies is so, so, so important to me. It is so important to me as a groomer. Many doodle owners, for some reason, are told that your dog will not need to be groomed until it's one year old or after it's one year old, they, whatever phrase they use. This is so, so, so frustrating to groomers. And I will tell you why. Regardless of the coat, how long it is, whether you're brushing it, if you plan on having your dog groomed even semi-regularly, then I highly, 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 highly recommend that you bring it to the groomer as early as possible. There's uh, maybe a little bit of a limit, I will say. I was gonna say, bring your eight week old puppy to the groomer just to show it around, to get it familiar with the smells of the shop. But I will say, some puppies are in the process of getting vaccinated at a very young age, and so you don't necessarily want to expose the dog to risk of get, of illness until the vet clears it for, okay, yes, this puppy can kind of be near other dogs now, okay? But as young as possible and as often as possible, you should be socializing your animal. So it's more of a form of socialization. And I will say this too, a lot of people, if you, they wait till a year and the dog is so matted because they don't even know the dog is matted. They just think, oh, it's too fluffy and soft because the mats are under there they're not you can't feel it on the top they're like closer to the skin and so then the groomer has to shave it it is such a common doodle owner experience to be like we just love how fluffy doodle looks like a polar bear it's amazing can you just clean him up and and you get back this like sheared dog and not only that the dog was a hot mess behaviorally on the table because it has no concept of what if whether it's in an okay place literally like for for the purposes of at least socialization you can you can call up your groomer or even kind of pop in um, it depends on the shop take your dog to even the pet stores like the pet smart and things like that walk them around where they'll see other dogs they'll see other people take them to the groomer and say hey we just want to acclimate her to this place and most groomers and shop owners will say come on in you know and they'll give your dog like a treat and you could even call ahead and say you know could you put my dog on the table and you know would you mind I just want her to stand up on the grooming table I mean any kind of act like acclimating to the place the process the people the sounds a lot of grooming shops have force dryers that are pretty loud you could take your puppy in for just a bath and either a trim or a nail trim or, you know, literally no fur, like just a bath and a brush out. But, but the point is, anyone that is told you don't need to take your dog to the groomer until they're a year old is being lied to. And it is a big, big misunderstanding and it is a mistake in socialization. Socialization in the first year of life is much more important and effective than any year after. And of course, you can teach an old dog new tricks. At an older age, it is also possible to socialize and acclimate and desensitize a dog to these processes. It is much easier in the first year of life because they're more plastic. Their brains are more adaptable. So. That is a big lie, it is a big lie. Don't believe it. If anyone tells you it, do not believe it. I hope this video was useful, especially to doodle owners, new doodle owners, people who are considering becoming doodle owners. I hope you will consider subscribing because I've got more to come. Check out my other videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Let me know what other topics you wanna hear about. My name's Colleen and this is Good Dog Grooming. Thanks guys.
who's gonna be in my video?